Welcome, one and all, to the ancient journey. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to us. Today's journey, Logan Drew Scheindelman. Logan was raised by his grandmother in Tumwater, Washington. He was a star athlete. He attended Washington State University for one year and then decided to drop out of college and return to Tumwater. He worked several jobs and moved in with his grandmother and half-sister. On the morning of May 19, 2016, Scheindelman spoke with his grandmother and left for work, never to be seen again. He was just really nervous, his grandmother said, which he isn't usually, kind of on a mission. She also stated that he had claimed to have had an epiphany. The two agreed to talk when they returned home from work. On May 20th, 2016, Scheindelman's Chrysler Sebring was discovered abandoned along the southbound lane of Interstate 5 in Rochester with his wallet, driver's license, and cell phone still inside. A witness placed a 911 call at around 2 p.m. after witnessing Scheindelman's vehicle swerving across the interstate and crashing into the center media. A witness saw a man, six foot tall and white, exit the vehicle from the passenger side and run into the woods along the interstate. Police brought in tracking dogs and searched the woods but found nothing. Later, a witness reported seeing Scheinelman on the day his vehicle was found on the highway. The witness reported seeing a man resembling Scheindelman standing outside the car on Interstate 5, accompanied by two white men. A sketch was made of one of the unknown men, but the identity of that man still remains a mystery. Scheindelman had been a fit and strong athlete, but did have inner demons. His grandmother has mentioned that he was having an identity crisis due to being of mixed race ancestry. He was a model student but dropped out of college after only one year and was known to smoke marijuana, which his grandmother claimed caused him to be paranoid. He worked many odd jobs but had no career. On the evening of May 20th, there was a potential sighting of a naked man in the area where Scheindelman had vanished although the identity of the individual is unknown. The last clothing Scheindelman was known to be wearing included a black windbreaker, a white shirt, jeans, and possibly a pair of Nike tennis shoes. Cell phone records indicated that on the morning that he vanished, Logan had traveled towards Interstate 5, heading south, then turned around and headed north before reversing direction again heading south on Interstate 5, where he eventually stopped. His car was found in that spot. On May 27, 2016, one week after Scheindelman disappeared, someone checked in to the Olympia Regional Airport on Scheindelman's personal Facebook page. It turned out that the post was celebrating an airport check-in from the year before. There is some debate as to how this happened, but Logan remains missing. Thanks for watching and thanks for sharing the journey.